Welcome to day two of the 15 day crafty challenge where a bunch of us crafty content creators here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, where we are all joining forces coming together to help flatten that curve. And the way that we're doing that is by encouraging all of you all at home to stay home, stay safe. And we are bringing you plenty of crafty content to make that just a little bit easier on you. And if you think that's great, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. We are doing a few huge giveaways and I do mean huge giveaways. There is a long list of brands and I'm talking about brands like Fiskars, We Are Memory Keepers, Plaid, ShopAntiTay.com, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So you definitely need to check out the description box below to see all the brands that are participating. They are sponsoring this video series by donating all of these awesome, awesome products for us to give away to all of you guys at home. Now the way that you're gonna win is by crafting alongside of us. So after you make your own crafts, after following some of these tutorials, take some photos, post them on Facebook, on Instagram, and use the hashtag craft for the curve. And at the end of these 15 days, we're gonna draw some winners and there's gonna be some very, very happy Happy people and that could be you so again find some awesome craft tutorials that you like from this awesome group of crafty content creators I have a full list of all the crafty content creators listed and linked also in that description box below so please be sure that you check out the other channels subscribe if you like them there is so many great videos coming out of this group of people that honestly you don't want to miss it Today I am showing you how to make your own customized t-shirts with iron on vinyl, also known as HTV or heat transfer vinyl, a Cricut cutting machine, and an easy press or even a household iron. Now let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants your Cricut and crafting channel, where I post Cricut tutorials and projects and inspiration multiple times every single week. So if you're wanting to master your Cricut cutting machine, go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never miss a single Cricut Minute. Now it is absolutely no secret that one of the most popular items to create with a Cricut is a customized t-shirt. And I mean, Rightfully so. I mean, between you, a Cricut, and some iron on vinyl, the possibilities are really pretty much endless. And that is exactly why I am gonna show you step by step exactly how you can make your own customized t-shirt today. Now you are obviously gonna need a Cricut cutting machine. I'm gonna be using my Cricut Maker, but you could also use your Cricut Explore Air 2 or even your Cricut Joy to do this. You're gonna need some iron on vinyl and today I'm using just regular Cricut everyday iron on vinyl in colors red and teal. Some regular parchment paper, an easy press 2 or just a regular household iron, some scissors or an X-Acto knife, some weeding and scraping tools, a ruler, a Cricut cutting mat, an easy press mat or a rolled up towel would work as well a computer, tablet, or phone to operate design space with, and obviously a t-shirt. <laughs> I picked this up at Walmart for literally five bucks and it is 100% cotton. All right, so the first thing that I'm doing is pulling up Cricut Design Space to get our design started. I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side of the page and click on Upload, and then on Upload Image, and then on Browse. And I'm going to select this SVG file right here that I actually downloaded from antitay.com. Okay, so now as you can see, it's right over here in our recently uploaded images. So I'm going to select that and then come over here to the bottom right hand corner and click on insert images. All right, so that's a little large. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom left hand side of the screen and zoom out a little bit. And let's go ahead and just resize this down a bit. There we go. And if you're using Design Space on your laptop or on a desktop, you should have this option right here for templates. So I'm going to select that and then come over here to the top right hand corner and search for t-shirts. And the type of t-shirt that I got is a v-neck, so I'm going to select this option right here. And as you can see up here in the top left hand corner, it's giving me the type of shirt that I could select. So I am going to keep it as a men's short sleeve. But I'm going to come over here to size and change that to medium. 
So this grid makes it a little hard to see our template. So what I'm gonna do is remove that by coming up here and selecting these three horizontal lines, coming down here to settings, and then selecting no grid. And then just clicking done. There we go. So now what I want to do is come down here to the bottom left hand corner again and zoom back in a little bit. And then just click our design and drag it over to the front of our t-shirt. So now I have the option of resizing this design to be as big or as small as I would like it to be. And also just kind of getting an idea of where I would like to place it on my t-shirt. All right, so just by the looks of this, I think around six and a half inches wide will be just about the right size for my t-shirt. So I'm just gonna come up here to size and where it says width, I'm just gonna change that to an even 6.5, click enter, and that will automatically resize that for me. I also want to get more of an exact idea of how my design is going to look because I am not going to be using these colors right here. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the layers panel on the right hand side of the screen, select each layer, and then I can come up here to the color swatch at the top left hand corner of the screen and change those colors. Now for this layer, I do want this layer to be red, I believe, so I'm going to change that to red. And for the next two layers, I'm going to come over and select both of those and then come up to the top left hand side of the screen and I'm gonna change that to a teal light color. All right, so I do like the way that that looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and come up here to the top right hand corner of the screen and click on make it. Now this part is extremely important for any type of iron-on vinyl. You always, always, always wanna select mirror. You wanna turn that mirror option on by coming over here to the left hand side of the screen and selecting this mirror option right here. Now, since that we do have two mats that we're using, I'm gonna also come down here to this blue mat, select it, and turn that mirror option on as well. There we go. So now all I have to do is come down here to the bottom right-hand corner and select Continue. For material, I am selecting Everyday Iron-On. And now I'm just gonna get my mats ready. Now, it is extremely important whenever you're applying your iron-on vinyl to your cutting mat, it is very important to put the shiny side facing down. Now I'm just grabbing my X-Acto knife and I am going to lightly slice out the portion of vinyl that I'm using for today's project. Okay, so now I'm just loading my mat and I'm just gonna tap this flashing arrow button to load the mat into the machine. Whenever this Cricut button starts flashing, you can go ahead and press that for the machine to start cutting. And whenever the machine is done cutting, you can go ahead and push this flashing arrow button again for the machine to unload your mat. I'm gonna go ahead and angle this vinyl towards me on the mat and just start weeding it. So I'm really just picking at a corner until I can get a little flap to lift up. And then I'm just gonna grab it with my fingers and pull it the rest of the way off. If you get some little pieces like right here that get stuck, what you can do is grab your weeding tool again and then just kind of go in there and help pry them up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip my mat over and gently peel the mat away from the vinyl instead of the other way around. All right, so for my Easy Press 2, I am gonna set this to 315 degrees for 30 seconds. All right, so as far as applying our decal evenly on this shirt, what a lot of people will do is actually fold the shirt in half, lay it out smooth on the mat, and then just grab their easy press, and then just go over that area to create a crease. And I'm not sure if you can see this on camera or not, but there is a crease right here that we can line our decal up on. But before we do that, I am gonna preheat our t-shirt, and this does two things. It removes all the moisture from the shirt so we can get a better application, and it also just gets all the wrinkles out as well. And I just like to do that for about five to 10 seconds or so. Now, as far as our teal decals go, I am gonna go ahead and cut those apart since those do go on separate lines. I am just laying out the decals where I want them to be. And I'm gonna do the tack method where I'm just gonna apply the easy press for about five to 10 seconds or so. I am gonna split this design up into two parts. So I'm gonna do this side for about 10 seconds and then come over and do this side for the other 10 seconds. I'm gonna let that cool off just a little bit. We are gonna do a warm peel, not a hot peel, 
a warm peel. So obviously right now this is way too hot to touch. So you just wanna cool that off a little bit just until that transfer tape feels warm. And removing this easy press mat should help that cool off just a little bit quicker. And you just wanna go extremely slow when peeling off this transfer tape because remember, these decals are not fully adhered as of yet. Remember, we're splitting this up into two parts. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on one half and then 30 seconds on the other half. And you do just wanna apply medium pressure. And again, we just want this to cool off from hot to warm before we peel off this transfer tape. All right, so one more step. I wanna flip the shirt over and apply the easy press to the back side of the shirt for an additional 15 seconds. And again, I'm just splitting up the sides. I'm doing one half for 15 and I'll do the other half for 15 as well. All right, so there we go. All right, so now, for a household iron. First of all, you wanna make sure that there is zero water in your iron because you don't want any steam whatsoever. Secondly, since we are doing a cotton t-shirt, I'm gonna change the settings on here to cotton. So I am just gonna lay my t-shirt out onto my mat. If you don't have an easy press mat, a rolled up towel will work perfectly. And I am just gonna iron over this to make sure I get all the wrinkles out first. And now what I want to do is fold the t-shirt in half Lay it out on my easy press mat. And I just want to run the iron down this section right here to create a crease. And now I just want to take my decal and line it up as evenly as possible. Now I just want to take a piece of parchment paper and apply it over top of the transfer. And then I want to apply really good firm pressure for 25 to 35 seconds. All right, so now I just want this decal to cool off from hot to warm. So I'm gonna remove this easy press mat out from underneath of it, and that should help it cool off a whole lot quicker. All right, so now I'm just moving the easy press mat back underneath of it. And I'm gonna apply the other two decals. And again with the parchment paper. And I'm gonna apply this iron over top of each of those decals for a good 25 to 35 seconds with medium pressure. All right, so again, we're just gonna let this cool down from hot to warm. All right, so for one last time, I'm flipping the t-shirt over and on the back of the t-shirt, I'm going over this for another 35 seconds or so. And here is the t-shirt that we created with the household iron. And here is the t-shirt that we created with the easy press. So for me, one of the huge pros to using an easy press over like a household iron is that this heating element, this heating plate, heats up extremely evenly. I mean, it's extremely precise. Not only that, but you can also control the temperature and there's also a timer built in as well. Now the con to that is obviously the price. For some people, it makes sense to purchase one, and for other people, it doesn't. Now obviously, you can use a household iron, and it seems, on the surface at least, to work just as well. There's just a little bit more of a guessing game that you have to play with it. But if you're okay with that, then that's all that matters. Now for care instructions, you wanna wait at least 24 hours before you try to wash this. And whenever you do wash it, make sure that you turn it inside out wash it in cold water, and then let it either tumble or air dry. Now something that is important, if the shirt that you're making is for yourself, you do wanna make sure that you wash it prior to applying any iron-on decals to it. Uh, but on the other hand, if you're planning on selling your t-shirts or even giving them away as gifts, obviously a washed t-shirt just doesn't look nearly as nice as a brand new one, right? So a way to get around the whole washing thing is actually just purchasing a pre-shrunk t-shirt. I would absolutely love to know what you all thought of today's project down in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, please be sure that you stamp that like button before you leave. Now, if you would like to be a part of an awesome Cricut crafting community where you can ask your questions and get some answers, help each other out, 
post your finished projects, get some inspiration, ask for advice, then you definitely want to be a part of our Cricut crafting community that is exclusive to only the subscribers of this channel. So if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never miss a single Cricut Minute and then request to join that Facebook group by clicking the link down in the description box below. You guys, thank you so much, so much for watching today's video. I literally cannot put it into words how extremely grateful I am for each and every single one of you all. And I want you to know that as I'm saying that right now, I'm literally talking to you. I am so grateful for each of you. You all will probably never understand the huge part that you play in my life, how you will help brighten my day every single day. And I can't put into words what that means to me. Seriously, you all are just everything to me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for caring. And until next time, you guys, stay crafty.